Hey everybody, welcome to another TechHero.net video, the hero for all your tech related problems and needs. Um, this video is number two of how to speed up your computer and in this one we are going to be showing you how to remove unwanted programs, software, and other things like that that you no longer need on your computer which will dramatically help the speed of your computer as well as give you more space. So let's go ahead and get started with this. First thing you want to do is go on down there to your start menu and you want to navigate to your control panel. You then want to find programs and features and sometimes you might be on the category showing so and that one it will be called programs. So you want to click on programs and then you want to go to uninstall a program. You can see here there's a big old list of programs so you can go through and just find one that you know you don't need anymore. As you can see there is a lot on here. I need to go through myself and clean up a whole bunch. It says down there at the bottom how much it's taking up so I'm over 20 gigabytes by far and stuff that I may not need. So the first thing I see is this uh, bulk mailer program. I no longer need it, so I'll click it, and then I'll click uninstall, and it will prepare to uninstall. Give it a few minutes. And keep in mind, this will be really, really slow if your computer is like so bogged down that I mean you're talking your computer's taking 20 minutes to even turn on this will take longer but just be patient with it and it's gonna pay off should be getting close now uninstall it Also, a rule of thumb you want to go by is do not delete any of these things in this list if you are not 100% sure what they are. Either Google them, uh, ask someone that might know or that does know. Anyway, find out before you delete anything if you're not sure what it is. Because it could be something really important like a driver uh, or a main piece of software you need for your computer to work. So that's something you always want to follow. So let's see maybe what else I can find in this list that I don't want anymore. I'll use that Apple software update since I don't have any Apple products anymore. Don't have that iPhone anymore so I'll click on that and then click on install like you can see I just did. Now this is preparing to remove it this should go a little faster because it's actually just a program that does updates so it's not as big and there it goes it's loading now and it's gone it's that simple and like I said always remember do not delete anything if you are not a hundred percent sure what it is it's just something you definitely want to follow but anyway, uh, we're done with this. So what we can do now is we can go ahead and find other places that we might have programs. So what we're going to do is go to the start menu. And then we can navigate up to computer. Or my computer, whatever it is. If you're on a different version of Windows. So we'll go to that. And then you can see all your drives. Typically, it'll be drive C on your PC or laptop. That's where your hard drive is. You want to double click on that and open it. And then you can see two folders called program files. You'll only see one if you're on Windows 32 bit, but if you're on 64 like I am, um, you'll see two folders one for the 32 and one for the 64. 64 will contain all your programs that are running 64-bit and the one that doesn't have anything that just says program uh, that's the one that has your uh, 
32 bit in it as you can see that says 86 I believe it's kind of small but uh, it actually for some reason I'm not exactly sure why they do that but it's it is actually 64 bit is what it means so that's where most of my programs are going to be since I am running 64 bit here on Windows 7 on this uh, Inspiron laptop as you can see right there it says I showed you where it said 64 so you can open that up you can see all the things that are in here I don't need that auto clicker so I can just right click on it delete it it's as simple as that see now you can exit out and then I'll go to my recycle bin and then empty the recycle bin and that's all there is to that it's pretty simple and now just like on the last video to make sure everything is complete we will want to go to the start menu and then shut down or restart whatever you want to prefer if you're going to be getting back on your computer obviously you want to restart anyway thank you guys for watching another tech hero video go to techhero.net for more videos the hero for all your tech related problems and needs thanks for watching see y'all later